How's it going? We're in Charlotte, North Carolina right now. I am backstage at the Southern Spring Home and Garden Show. We're getting all of our uh, slides and all of our notes ready for my Q&A that's happening here in just a few minutes. It's been a super busy morning, um, so I haven't had a chance to get any footage of the show, but I'm hoping to do that here after my Q&A. But let me give you a peek um, out the curtain here. There they are! So Aaron just turned uh, his camera on and I'm getting a mic put on here so that hopefully the audio for our video turns out. I can't believe how many people are here. I never would have dreamed, dreamed it. Anyway, I'm getting kind of nervous. It's a little humid, not gonna lie. <laughs> They're clapping for Aaron, I love it. I mean, some people do it to relax, mm -hmm. some people do it to get fresh air. Cheaper than therapy. I mean, <laughs> cheaper yeah. than therapy. Yeah. Some people get paid by YouTube. Some right, well. Some people get paid by YouTube to garden. <laughs> oh, that's the next thing, guys. <laughs> yeah, y'all should try it. <laughs> you gotta try it. Done with my first Q&A and I got all sweaty and my face is all red. Um, but it went really well. Now I'm heading to the Proven Winners booth for a meet and greet really quick. Alright guys, so we just got done with our Q&A sessions and a couple of meet and greets. We actually had two of each of those today. It's been wild and I've been able to meet a lot of you guys. It's been a really special experience for me. Um, but now I thought to wrap up this video, we would just run through kind of their show garden area. And it is kind of dim in here, so I don't know how well we're going to be able to capture it. But they do keep the lights dim and the kind of the temperature is a little cooler so that the plants will last for the duration of the show because a lot of them have flowers on them and flowers and bright light and stuff, they just don't last as long. So anyway, each garden is numbered. This is garden number one. Uh, this is Southern Stonescapes Unlimited. And I really liked this as the entry display because of how colorful it is. I think they did such a beautiful job putting this together. I mean, we've got Laura Petalum up front, some beautiful azaleas, there's some ranunculus in there. And then of course, there's a lot of running water. I noticed that in quite a number of displays. We've already walked this just to kind of get a, an idea. They um, themed it after HGTV, kind of like the Joanna uh, and Chip Gaines. They did a, a chicken coop area and kind of kitchen garden, which we'll show you here in a minute, but let's walk this way. I kind of want to give you guys a view from the entryway right here. They've got this kind of meandering walkway with brick, which this is, I think, the exact brick that Aaron and I are going to use for our walkway, which is awesome. I get a really good idea of what it's going to look like, and it's beautiful. Um, and then you can just see all the fun garden art in here. The benches, just a lot of really neat touches in here. And so this, I talked to the guys who put this together and they also do like big structures like this, big beautiful pergolas, um, the furniture, I mean, just kind of like full scale. Okay, one, two, three. That was great. Okay. Thank you. Perfect, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Isn't that just beautiful? And I just love all the color this time of year. Any color we see is awesome. And honestly, like some of the plants I'm not even familiar with because they are not for our zone, but some of them I know. Um, there's some beautiful white cyclamen up there. We've got some calla lilies down here, some creeping jenny, and I love that. I love how they tucked it in all along here to make it look like it's a little bit more natural. And then you can see each garden is numbered. This is garden number one, which is so nice. So it tells you who did it and a little bit more information. So this is the second garden, garden number two, um, the stone man. And you can see that it's a lot of just stonework, very clean, modern, um, kind of urban look to it. I love this right here. There's something about the repetition here and the use of the soft grass. It still looks warm, even though you know, you're only dealing with one plant and one type of material in this kind of patio area. Um, and then the, of course, this stone kind of fireplace, which, you know, in, for the display purposes is not a fireplace, but it could be set up as one with your TV above it. I think that's really cool, like bringing that outside. Um, right here, they've got some cedar benches that are just kind of worked into the wall here. And then I learned something new today. This right here is called gabion mesh, and they create walls out of it. 
Uh, it's just very different. I haven't seen anything quite like it. It's very unique looking. A great way to make a retaining wall, especially you've got a bunch of rocks laying around. So this next one is from All Natural Streams and it's probably one of my top ones in here because of the sound of the water. You gotta come over here and check this out. So they specialize in putting in uh, waterfalls and ponds that look like this and I just love the lighting. I love the sound, the different layers they have going on. And of course, all of the trees and the plantings are beautiful. I mean, seeing these great big trees here, as well as the coral bark maples, which are super popular back in our area. Um, I just thought it was a really neat use of lighting in this uh, display in particular. And then all along the way, they have different she sheds set up, which is kind of fun to look inside. So come over here and take a look. So you can see a little bistro set set up. This has got kind of more of a I don't know, ocean vibe to it with the seashell picture. Um, and then if we move over to the other side, this one's set up a little bit bigger, still kind of continuing the same colors, but I just thought it was really kind of fun and, and different. I haven't seen any, like a whole bunch of she sheds set up and there's a bunch more. Okay, I'm gonna skip around a little bit just because this one happened to be next. But this is Garden Six, this is Bushwhackers Landscaping. Um, and this is neat, an outdoor kitchen. So check this out. Like, I wouldn't mind having one of these in my house. It's beautiful and the stonework is beautiful right here. Um, we've got a water feature here. And I just, like, it's so important, especially in here, to bring, like, imagine a cavernous room full of nothing and to bring in all of this stuff and create a space that feels like nature and like you're outside. I think the water sound is especially important. And there's another she shed right over here. Oh, this one's fun. This one's super girly. Look, there's a pink couch in there. I love the white dresser in there that just kind of pops amongst all the green and the pink right there. It's just a really bright, fun, kind of real spring feeling room. And this next one is another one that's on top of my list. This is garden number eight. This is the plant man. And he does really cool stuff with stones. So right here, this whole installation is uh, set up to give you the feel of water. Um, so that's kind of what they're trying to get you to feel. And it does look like that. It looks like it starts, like originates there and comes spilling down into the bottom. And what a meticulous uh, installation. I mean, I can't imagine how long something like this would take, um, but I think it's really unique. It's not something I've ever seen at a show before. In the same display, there's a beautiful waterfall. I think the plant choice in this display is my absolute favorite. We've got a um, magnolia back there, a festigiata blue spruce right behind it. Um, there's some arborvitas, grasses. There's some uh, gomfrina right down in here. Uh, Japanese maples, hookahs. I mean, it's just beautiful use of texture and color in here. There's also a contorted filbert right there. And look at that, even without leaves, the structure that's on that plant is just absolutely wonderful. And also, hellebores. And this one is pretty good size because you swing over from the waterfall, have another beautiful magnolia here. Um, oh, and then the, I think this is called a Japanese umbrella pine. My mom has one of these, my parents do in their garden. She just planted one last year and I love it. But we've got a fireplace built in, a little bistro set. It feels like you could like move into this space and live. Oh, okay, now this she shed is awesome. I wish I could go inside. There's like a, a loft set up in there. And we've got a table and chairs and a TV. Like this is right next to that plant display. I could totally live in here. And you guys, Charlotte right now has really bad rainstorms going on. so. It'll be kind of slow in here for a little bit. And then when the rain lets up, people will kind of flock in um, and it just kind of ebbs and flows today. This morning, it was so busy. It's actually kind of nice though. I can move around in here a little bit easier. So this is Garden 5, all natural streams. Can you sense a theme here? All the different streams and water features. I like this because it shows you an idea in a smaller scale. So you don't have to have some big massive space or you know, a massive budget. You can do something a little smaller scale, still get the same look, the same um, really nice water sound. And I mean, like, <laughs> we have nothing like this going on at home. Seeing this is just, you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get home and want to go to the garden center and buy all the things. Garden four is Southern Showplace Landscapes. And this one has a really cool water feature. It's like a disappearing fountain. There's kind of a little group in front of it, so I'll have to wait my turn here. Okay, so Barry, who's a representative for this company, just kind of explained to me how this works. So there's a reservoir on the top, right there where the flames are coming out. And he said the flames are actually a little bit low right now because the reservoir's low, but you just pour tiki torch uh, fluid in there and light it and you got your fire and it lasts for 
lots of hours. And then the water just comes cascading down the sphere and this is a disappearing, uh, of course, fountain where there's um, a reservoir that's 42 inches deep for your water reservoir. And there's a pump down there that just recycles the water back up to the top and it just kind of is a continual thing. So that's a really unique um, way to do it if you don't want to have an actual pond or a water feature that way. So this is beautiful. And of course the coral bark maple shines. Beautiful. Okay guys, the last thing I want to show you is this area right here. Um, these are the like potting shed areas uh, and the chicken coop, kind of the kitchen garden feel. And this kind of cracked me up. Look at this. <laughs> a bunch of cabbage. That's one way to do it. Um, but there's strawberries, tomatoes, some lettuce and parsley. It looks like uh, maybe some beets. What do we got in here? Some kale. But the, the cabbage is just, it's killing me. Uh, but this is a really neat potting shed right here. Like you could do a lot of potting. You could do a lot of stuff in here. Uh, and then they've got a couple, is there a couple chicken coops or just the one? I think just the one. And they do have a couple chickens in here. There's two chickens. One is named Feather Locklear and the other one is unnamed so far. It smells good though, like cedar shavings in there. I love that. I love that they can come out and kind of experience outside, but still be, you know, protected where the coop is. If you live in an area where you have, like I was talking to someone earlier and they have foxes um, that pick off their chickens. So that's a really good way to do it. All right guys, so that is it for this video. Of course, there's a whole bunch more even in this room that I would love to show you all the details. There's a whole other section of the show that's full of vendor booths and it's just, it kind of keeps on going and going. It's a really big show and we've really enjoyed our time here. It's been so awesome to meet so many people who've been watching our videos. It means so much to me. It's been re a really encouraging trip. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.